Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This channel does book content mainly, but also I just show my life in general. And if you have been here for a while, hello and welcome back. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to go subscribe. It really helps out and like this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a reading vlog of Lucy Scar's brand new book, Things We Hide From The Light. I've already read on this channel and done a reading vlog for Things We Never Get Over. And this is the next one along, so I thought... I have to do a reading vlog for it. This was released yesterday. So currently it's the 22nd of February. This was actually re released on the 21st. I thought I'd do this intro now, seeing as I've got my makeup on. Um, I am currently reading another book, but once I finish, I will start this. I just want to do the intro now because we're being prepared because it's my birthday tomorrow and I'm very busy over the weekend. So I'm preparing for that. This book is about Nash and Linda which I'm really excited for Nash. In September, her third book in the series will be released. And that is about Lucian, which I'm very excited for. Because he was my favourite. If you watched that one, you knew I was like, I need to read Lucian's book. So I'm very happy that's coming out in September. But these are a small town romance book, which I'm very excited about. I will read you guys the blurb and the first chapter, the first line of the first chapter. So police chief Nash Morgan is known for two things, being a good guy and the way his uniform accentuates his rear end. But two bullets put a dent in his southern charm and now he's facing a criminal still on the loose and in a town full of citizens that consider the law more of a guideline. Then the last the last thing he needs is a leg is a leggy smart off smart mouth linda Sol solvitia moving in next door making him making him feel things he doesn't have the energy to feel so this is a girl next door situation oh my god if you've read the first book you will know a bit about what the beginning is you have to read the first book before you read this one by the way it's not a standalone you have to read the series anyway i'm going to carry on um linda is on mission is on a mission as soon as she gets what she's after she has no intention of sticking around the town of knox mount has other ideas she's still she blah, blah, blah. soon she finds herself stuck in a small town life dog sitting saying yes to a bridesmaid dress listening to the sexy chief of police in the shower but when nash discovers linda's secret these friends become furious enemies though sparks fly between them don't know the difference between love and hate I was so excited for this because in the first book, Ness is like, so it's like a good, like he's a, such a good two shoes, but like this bit of his past where you're like, hmm, are you actually though? Uh, so I'm very excited. I have seen some people uh, seen and I was like, yes. Um, I actually got this book from the works for £6. So if you've got works near you, go check it out because it's currently £6 and the first one is only 5 So if you've not got the first one, you can get them both for £11, which is such a good deal so the first chapter let's have i got the right one the first line of the first chapter are you guys ready yep so the chapter is called thing L tiny little embers and it's in nash's point of view the federal agent in my office were lucky for two reasons first my left hook what had wasn't what it had been before getting shot <laughs> i'm very excited to read this book this book is chunky this book is over 550 pages i think it's around it's 574 with a bonus extra epilogue that's the word so it's a thick book it's nearly 600 pages though it doesn't look like it like my books behind here that are like a similar width look huge in versus like this doesn't look that big which i don't get but i think it must be thinner paper anyway yeah i'm very excited to read this so once i finish off off side which, if you've not read the ice hockey romance, you should. I'm obsessed with ice hockey romances. We're, we're going to get on to this. I'm just pre-doing this intro ready because I just know I'm going to be busy for the next two weeks. I'm going to be two, three weeks, actually. We'll be hella busy. So I thought I would just get a kickstart. I'm very sad. It's not as floppy as the last one. Like The last one was like proper floppy. This one, the flop level. Not floppy that it really disappoints my books that floppy this is the first one which is the things never got over and then this is the new one very similar vibe and the third one's gonna be purple so they're gonna be 
really really cute together that's what also really annoys me how they've not got them the same way around <laughs> graphic designer in me anyway yeah this is the book we're going to be reading this reading vlog but if you've not read this book you need to go read it so yeah they're also very cute together they look so cute however they won't stay in my hand but yeah so let's get on to the reading vlog I am only three chapters in but I have a dissertation to write so that's why but I love this book so far I'm loving it Nash is doing a Nash thing of being a stubborn and not letting anyone in and I really like lids I like lids a lot so yeah really enjoying this um I'm gonna get upstairs and write my dissertation I'll see you when I next start reading but I feel like this book may take me a week to read it's about 11 o'clock at night I have been outside with my parents for a little bit so I've done a tiny bit of uni work uh so now it's time to read and I'm very excited well I don't get distracted possibly however I'm still in my joggers so let's hope I don't fall asleep in them to be honest <laughs> if I do it it's fine so yeah I'm gonna get reading so The sexual tension in chapter three. Oh my god. I mean, they literally saved a dog out of a sewer and the sexual tension was high. So, that's fun. Also, please ignore the fact that I've got this very red eczema mark on my face. Um, it's stress induced and it won't go away. So, please ignore it. I've got to take antihistamine again because I've taken an evening. So, please just ignore it really really bad but let's ignore interested in what lisa no what's her name linda does she says she works for insurance but you know it seems a bit dodgy after chap end of chapter four it seems like she does something more than that also looking at nash's files hmm it seems a bit sus i have a feeling this is gonna bite them in the butt when they get together 72 pages in on chapter 7 which is called one of the funniest names ever I love these chapter headings if I can bloody get to it there we go we weren't dry humping so I'm going to save that for tomorrow morning before I start uni work and yeah I'm going to go to bed it's half past 12 I need to get changed so yeah I'm going to head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning bright and not bright and early I'm sleeping in so oh my god this is brilliant so lucian Na uh, Knox, and nash are all having a a manly talk and feelings have been brought up <laughs> and Knox goes you think about talking to one of those uh therapists Knox chokes out lucian and i both swing our heads in his direction instead oh fuck you both <laughs> naomi suggests it i'm man enough to admit it's not a horrible idea if you don't mind spilling your guts to a complete stranger, it's not like dad gave us any kind of healthy coping mechanisms. <laughs> it's so bad that when he swung around, he was like, blamed it straight on Naomi. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I love this book so much. It, it makes me laugh so much. It's hilarious. So, one of my favourite bands, The Struts, and one of my favourite songs, Could It Be Me, has been mentioned. Lucy Scott. I love you and your music taste. Oh my god, the struts. Not a lot of people know the struts either. And oh my god, struts, the struts. Oh my god, okay, I'm very happy.
Hello, I won't lie, I have been reading this for the past couple of days but not spoken to you guys just due to the fact, one, many breakdowns, two, dissertation due in next week so my brain's been mainly frozen in uni and I've not been reading that much, I've only read a few. I'm currently 238, 36 pages in, like I've gone pretty far in, it's so good, I'm loving it. Um, currently Nash is annoyed at Lydia, like proper proper annoyed and i was like oh my god okay like hmm, what's gonna happen now you know what i mean um and this chapter is called soccer game showdown i'm very excited about it but um i'm just trying to like read like the reason i'm this reading vlog is gonna be so bad because of the fact of uni just killing me off i'm like reading um just on a night like before i go to bed and not much at all because i was hoping to go through this pretty quick because realistically for my reading goal i need to read like two books a, a week and uni's being like no like that's gonna happen so you know i'm just slowly trying to read it but so far amazing lucy score books are amazing and i'm just gonna get reading now and see where I get up to. I have one thing to say about this book. That's a bad thing. I am 300 pages in. So much tension. No spice. No spice. Spice, I thought was going to happen at least 100 and something pages in. It almost did. Thanks, Lucian. Didn't happen. I'm 300 pages in. No spice. At all. Lucy Scar, please make your book spicier quicker. Because I'm losing the will to live. I love romance books. But I feel like when romance books are over the four, maybe 600 page. No, the five or 600 page mark. They're a bit too long. You know what I mean? And this is over it. And I'm 300 pages in and no spice. Usually by the point I read romance books that are about 300 ish pages in. And I would have had spice 150 pages in. I have 300 pages in. And no spice and i need i need it right now and it's not happening <laughs> live kiss live kiss live kiss <laughs> i might be screaming i'm 374 pages in and they have finally kissed hands were thrown nash was protecting her and the other girls with the other boys obviously the three men were protecting the three girls and oh my god they finally kissed mm-hmm I am so happy about this. <laughs> so yesterday, after reading like not a lot of pages, I read 250 pages yesterday. If I wasn't so tired and couldn't keep my eyes open, I would have stayed up all night and finished this book. So this morning, well, actually, it's not really morning. I woke up at 11 o'clock. Um, I've got on my period, so you can imagine what I did last night. I did not sleep. So, well, but I, I said very badly. Anyway, not the point. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try and finish this book. And it's going to be really, really good. And hopefully it's going to be fun. The, the fact that Pippa has gone from me and this girl who's like, I don't hug anyone to literally jumping on Nash and kissing him has made my day. I'm almost finished with this book. But, yeah. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. However, I was reading it that intensely that I've actually broken the spine in three places. So, you know. I can tell it's a good book when I realise that I have I broke the spine way after properly breaking the spine, you know. I have just finished this book and oh my god, the ending. The ending is so perfect. I love the extended epilogue always. I love this book so much. It was a bit of a slow start. 300 pages in it was a very slow burn um i think because of the fact i had so much uni work on i kind of was like i need to get it somewhere and the moment it was past 300 mark i just read and read and read this book was beautiful um if you haven't read the first one go read it you need to read the first one which is things we never get we never get over and then things we hide from the light this was just a beautiful like nash like, I love learning about Nash. I think Knox is still my favourite, but I love Lydia in this, and I cannot wait for the next one, which is Lucian's book. Um, and I think that one's going to be my favourite because he already is my favourite character in this series. I love this book so much. To say Nash was, like, my third favourite of all three of the boys, I love this book. This is another five-star read. 
Lucy Scar books are amazing. So yeah, five star read from me. Go pick it up. Go read it. I, this is a spoiler free review. As you can tell, I've not added any spoilers in. Would I say this could have been a bit shorter? Definitely. But 300 and odd pages in once you hit that mark um if you're into like a faster pace like i am it is just so good um i think it could have been 150 pages shorter but you know that's just my opinion some people do love a good old slow burn um but yeah this book is wonderful and i loved every second of it